You are here because you're probably thinking about using Thrivecart in your business to process payments. And I have a few thoughts. Hey, Impact Makers, this is Camila Gornia, founder of Heart Behind Hustle, where we help impact-driven entrepreneurs to grow and scale their businesses through aligned marketing strategies that turn their brand into movement. And in order to have an amazing brand and amazing business, you need to make sure you're able to process payments effectively, not having to chase clients and create more of a predictable income model. That's something that I teach. Now, Thrivecart is something I have been using in my business since uh, 2018. January actually I definitely have a lot of thoughts I went from using Infusionsoft mainly because it was a very you know robust platform I actually did a review about Infusionsoft quite a while ago now I'm using Thrivecart I've separated everything and it's just like Thrivecart is its own thing it's just process payments and uh, there's definitely some great things about it but there's also some non ideal things about it so if you're considering it I'm gonna go ahead and actually jump into my computer so you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna give you a review and go through a couple things so you can see if this is the best option for you and let's go dive into my computer all right so first I wanted to just share with you what you would typically see when going to thrivecart.com so uh, this is their sales page which you can't any buy anything from it's just like a coming soon page so you are able to join the beta round only when you have a special link which i will share with you in just a moment but this is a really good page for you to check out just to look at um, the video just what's included uh, all the different features as you can see there's really a lot of incredible features which i will get into in just a moment um, one of my favorite ones is the ability to have one-click bump offers, one-click upsells. I have recently started using embeddable carts, having funnels, um, obviously integrating with my email marketing provider. I use Active Campaign, using affiliates, um, having coupons, customer hub, and so on and so forth. So there's really a, a lot of really incredible things in here. And it does integrate with quite a few different options and different third party tools. So this is what you see when you go to this page. Now, you can grab a special ability basically to get Thrivecart for a one time lifetime fee. So you will get it and then have access to it for, for, for as good as, as long as it's available. Now, I will say that they have been telling us that that's not going to be something that's available all the time and that is something that will be going away soon. I don't know when exactly that will be happening. They're saying it's coming very soon where they will open it up to, to the public and it will have a monthly fee of like 67 or $97 a month. So being able to join for the current price is really quite a steal. So you would have to go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash thrive cart right here, thrive cart. And this is going to take you to the page where you can just learn a little bit more about this. Yes, like I said, it is going away. So they're going to charge $95 a month. I don't know when exactly that's happening, but you are able to get the lifetime access and they do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can um, ask for your money back. So just go through and check this out. And if you are interested, definitely go through and purchase the license. Now, it's only $5.95 for the entire license, which is pretty awesome. So what I want to do is I'm going to jump into my account so you can just see a little bit more about what I like about it, what it looks like right now, and uh, kind of go from there. I'm, and I'm recording this in the beginning of April, so you can just kind of get an idea of how things look like in the shopping cart. All right, so I am in my Thrive Card account right now, and as you can see, you typically will be able to see a weekly snapshot of the sales that you made through the Thrive Cart shopping cart functionality. And you can also see a nice little look at um, some of the money that you made. So you can see it based on, you know, week to date, last week, all the time, last year, so on and so forth. So you can kind of customize it based on what you want to see. But I want to take you through what all is included in here. Now, one of the things they recently added is JV Partners. This is something I have not personally used, so I will not be talking about it too much. But basically, it seems like you just create a contract between you and a partner, and then you get to, you know, basically have a whole section section for this as a JV versus an affiliate, which I think is really cool. And I definitely look forward to seeing what this does and how this plays out but it is not something i have used now 
the things that you're typically going to be using the most are creating products, of course, because this is a shopping cart, uh, you know, platform. So it's really easy to create products in here. And you'll notice that in here, uh, this is where all the products are visible for you. You can create a new product clicking on this button. You can search for products and you can create separate upsells and downsells. Um, I haven't used a whole lot of the A-B tests for products within Thrivecart and you can create coupons for different products or across all products. So I do this a lot for my funnels and for launches and things like that. So I don't have to create new things every single time. But I did wanna share with you just really quickly how easy it is to create a product. You would create um, new product, go to digital, create new product, you name it something. And you know, usually I just make it live, but I won't for the sake of this. <laughs> you change the pricing. This is one of the things I like about it because you get to decide. Um, so actually let's go back and make it live so you can see. You get to decide how much it costs and you can have different options of what the product will cost. So let's say this is $100. Um, let's make it $1,000. That's closer to what we actually have our stuff for. You can change how this looks like, but I'm just going to keep it like this, which is pretty cool. You can add another payment option if you would like. You can have a subscription, split pay, or pay your own price, which I think is really great for a lot of newer entrepreneurs. Uh, subscription. You can build them monthly, annually, quarterly, every six months, every two weeks, weekly, daily, pretty cool. So you get to decide what is the monthly price. So say $97 or today's price, you know, you can make it bigger, you can make it the same and how many rebills. So if it's a membership site, it will be indefinite. Or if it's an installment plan, you can say how many rebills. So if this is 12 payments and it will tell you how much it actually comes out to be which is pretty cool. And then you can also have trial periods, which is pretty awesome. So this basically says that the person will not be billed until this many days goes by after buying. This is something that we use a lot for our membership sites. And you can decide if people you want your people to get an invoice for every recurring payment. And then same here, you can decide on what this looks like. So I could say installment, installment plan, 97 per month. I could say 97 times 12 months, save. So let's say that I have these two options and you can also have, you know, you can really use this as, as much as you want. Um, bump is basically if you have an additional like little thing that people can check mark to add to their, uh, to add to their order right on the shopping cart page. So this is something that I sometimes will use. And this is one of the coolest things that's that was missing for me when I was using Infusionsoft. At least I couldn't do it in a very easy way, but you are able to bring in and use multiple payment processors for your product, which I think is awesome. So I mostly use Stripe so that people can process their payments through their credit cards, but you can also use PayPal. So I will often use PayPal as an option for smaller products um, or you know something from a membership site so that it's just anything that's a lower ticket item that people are not signing on for you know, a certain amount of payments so that they can't cancel it on their own. This makes it a lot easier. Plus you can have these other options too. And uh, it, it just makes life a lot easier. And if you wanna have affiliates, you can enable affiliates. Fulfillment, so you just say where, uh, what's the support email, what happens after somebody purchases. So you can choose what that looks like. Then you get to decide what is the checkout process. So usually we would just create a tall one step checkout. And this is just usually just one layout that they have. So that's one of the things I wish they would change is I wish they had more templates for actual shopping cart pages, but that's okay. You know, whatever, like checkout pages, I might, um, I wish they had actual different themes for, you know, templates for the checkout pages, but you can also have a two-step checkout. You can have an embedded checkout. You can have pop-up checkouts. So you can do a lot of really cool things. And I just recently started experimenting. I was like, you know, if I can't change the theme and the layout of this checkout page, why don't I just create my own page and then just embed this, uh, the checkout area. And that's what I've been doing. Like an example of this product, this is a page that I've designed. And then we have the, uh, it's an embedded checkout right here, which makes life a lot easier. So you can choose what that looks like. You can customize it, add in all the things you want to include, testimonials, bullet points, all that stuff. You can decide what the success page looks like. 
You can add tracking codes, so if you're running Facebook ads or anything like that. And then lastly, you get to decide what the behavior is. So if somebody buys, you might want to tag them in your email marketing provider, add them to a list, add them to an automation. And there's a lot of things you can do. So you'll notice that there's a lot of options for automations, which really makes life a lot easier. So this is going to be based on how you want things to look like for you. All right, let's go back to products. And I'm going to delete this. Usually what I do is I'll just duplicate a product that's been created because then it just makes things a little bit more efficient. You can create upsells and downsells. So this is something that um, you are able to create as well. And they would be a part of a funnel that you can then create. And a funnel is basically when uh, somebody purchases this product, for example, then you add something to the funnel where immediately after they purchase this product, they will see another option to add to their order. Like, hey, you know, here's another thing. And I'm not going to talk about sales funnels here. This is just a review of Thrivecart, but you are able to do upsells and downsells quite easily as well. And the way that you would do this is going to edit the product and then save and get URL once you've done all the editing. And then you get to click on customize sales funnel. And this is where you get to decide what are the upsells that people are seeing. So this is where the upsell products will pop up. You get to choose which one it is. If someone says no to it, you can have a downsell as well. So you can have up to five upsells, which is a little excessive, I think. But, uh, you know, everybody's got their own thing. Everyone's different. So then you can look at transactions. So this is where you get to see, you know, people that are buying if you want to look for a transaction so you can maybe cancel a membership or subscription or just look and send people their invoices if they're asking for them if they lost them or something like that you get to do that and search for people right here which is cool subscription is just another place for you to look at um, any open subscriptions that you have whether it's membership site or products that are on an installment plan so you can kind of look through and decide you know based on how how this looks like and affiliates is the last thing so if you're planning on using affiliates this is a really great thing it's really quite easy for people to sign up as affiliates they will then get all the links they need for promoting such as the links to opt-in pages webinar pages direct to sales page you get to decide what links you want them to get so that they can earn commission after referring your products to the to their to their people which is really great and I use that a lot when running virtual summits or some launches and it's really really great so I um, I'm a huge fan of Thrivecart actually I've really enjoyed how simple it is it's not the easiest thing to I think it's actually quite easy not no I'm, I'm gonna be honest I think it's quite easy the the most difficult thing I think in the beginning is if you're setting up Thrive uh, if you're setting up Stripe because the Stripe is, is quite techy, and um, you know, I, I still don't really feel like I'm 100% you know, on it, but I never really have to log into Stripe because everything is happening through Thrivecart. I only have to log into Stripe every so often in case I need to, I don't know, charge somebody you know, manually or something like that. So that's obviously not what I'm talking about here. So normally I really enjoy it. I think it's a, a great thing. Now, another thing I wanted to mention here is that you can have different integrations. You can have a customer blacklist, which is interesting. And um, Dunning is something they recently added. So they will typically, um, and I don't know if this is actually working. They recently added this. I haven't actually seen any emails come out yet. So I don't know how this is working. Like the stats are, it says they're coming soon. So who knows if it's actually working and I'm just being totally honest here. Um, but basically they have emails that you can set for when somebody misses a payment, their card was declined, or their card is about to expire, things like that, so they can update their card information for you so there's no issues in access to the thing that they signed up for. So that's the other thing I wanted to mention here. But otherwise, I, yeah, I, I quite like Thrivecart. I think it's straightforward and easy. I really like the fact that I can use both PayPal and Stripe on some of my products, and um, it just makes life quite easy and simplified and things like that. I mean, of course, it is a lower cost option alternative to like Infusionsoft, which is very robust and you can do a lot of things in there. But honestly, Stripe, which is what, how I, what I use Thrivecart with, it's a, it's a very powerful platform and payment processor. So, you know, I quite like it. Um, the one thing I wish Thrivecart had a better grasp on was I wish they had better reporting. So they can, you, they can run like a tax report, but 
I don't know. I, I just wish they had better reporting. I would love to see more detailed reports of like, you know, people are seeing this page this many this many times and this is how often they're signing up. These are your most effective products. Like I would love to see a little bit more information, but I guess you could also just export all of your products and transactions and run these types of reports yourself in Google Spreadsheets. Um, I'm not quite as techy and systemized as that, so I don't do those, but I wish there was something in here that would allow me to do that. Just the last thing that I'll say is, of course, Thrivecart is not free. Um, even though the, the lifetime fee i mean it's you know i think it's really affordable for having lifetime access to a shopping cart functionality and then you have to pay anything else outside of just you know percentages from stripe which is really standard across the board you know it's not it's not a free option so if you're just like using paypal and that's it obviously that's going to be way cheaper but you know it's it, it might not really make you seem as Legit, a lot of times you can't really customize that. And, um, you know, I, I, I personally just, I'm not a big fan of using a lot of PayPal. I use it a little bit, but I don't use it for the majority of my offers. Uh, so, you know, I, I think obviously for people that are looking for a free option, Thrivecart is not it, but I do think it's definitely worth it. It's definitely a great investment. And um, if you're looking for something straightforward that is, you know, potentially like Samcart, but except Samcart is, you know, a monthly fee and it's basically the same exact thing. So you might as well just do this. That's why I signed up. I was like, I wanted to get Samcart, but it was, I don't want to pay, you know, monthly. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> so just for a shopping cart, right? And this was the best next thing and I've been really happy with it so far. So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, if you want to sign up as well and try this 30-day trial, just go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash thrive cart. Let me know what you think. If you find that Thrivecart is something that you want to test out, I would love for you to use my link to grab it. You can do, go to heartbehindhustle.com forward slash Thrivecart and get your access code because it is not available to the public quite yet, but it will be soon. And they will be releasing a monthly subscription type of billing where you will have to be charged on a monthly basis. And this is the only time you can actually get a lifetime uh, access to this lifetime license, which I think is amazing, especially compared to the competitors that are doing the same, but you do have to pay like a hundred dollars a month, which, you know, if you don't have to, and you can have <laughs> just as good of a platform, why not do that? So, um, heartbehindhouse.com forward slash thrive cart to get your access code. Would love for you to check it out. I personally love it. I think it's great, but if some of the things I share with you are not aligned with you, totally fine too. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you know what to do. Hit on that subscribe button and make sure that you check out our future videos that we put out as well. And I will see you in the next one.